Major Mandisa Mfeka, call sign Comet. That's so cool. I wish I could have a call sign. Because of my surname, if I had a call sign, it would have to be something like Granny Smith or Pink Lady, which just really isn't really cool. That's very charming. <laughs> comet, why Comet? Comet, yeah, well, you know, I saw Comet as something that was a burning ball of flame and it has so much energy and I always just saw myself as someone who you know had a lot of energy and you know can glow quite a bit. <laughs> How do you go from being a five-year-old standing in the parking lot watching an air show to being the very first woman of color fighter pilot in South Africa? From that experience, when we were at Virginia Airport, we didn't see that we were, you know, different or had less. We were enjoying the show, you know. And what we took from that is, um, obviously, is that anything is possible. But at that time, I didn't realize that I could pursue the career of becoming a pilot. It wasn't until I was 16 years old that I realized that I could join the, the South African Air Force to pursue flying. When I saw that advert by the, the Air Force looking for pilots, I didn't want to look anywhere else, you know. Uh, some teachers were a bit concerned, you know, because of my virtues, you're a girl, you know, the military, it's so harsh. Um, but I couldn't, I was relentless. I was like, Dad, this is what I want to do. Major, whether you like it or not, you are now a role model to hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of young South Africans. Is that sometimes a difficult burden to bear? Sometimes it can be a bit challenging that uh, now I think a little bit of privacy has been taken away. <laughs> like walking through the shop uh, in my sweats and, you know, maybe think of having a raggedy day and then somebody wants to come and take a picture. <laughs> uh, but more than anything, I think um, now I've been afforded a bigger platform in which I can reach out to girls and women and just allow them to realize that they don't have to only rely on their virtues. You know, it doesn't have to be pretty but tough. It can be pretty and tough. You know, it doesn't have to be pretty but intelligent. You can be pretty and intelligent, you know. So I don't think that those virtues should be mutually exclusive. Colonel Nicholas Chihomu is the acting general officer commanding Air Force Base Mikado. I asked him how Mfeka's handling the enormous spotlight she's now under. She's not carried away by what, um, um, you know, the spotlight has brought to her life. It becomes a motivation uh, to say the sky is the limit. Everything that you set yourself for, you can be able to achieve. And that's how I view the interest which you have generated, which is good as well for the development of the country, as well as for the efforts specifically. By virtue of being the first woman of color in this particular profession, it must get lonely. Uh, yeah, it does get a little bit lonely, I'll be honest. Um, <clears throat> men and women sometimes relate differently to each other. And, you know, the women that I have in my life, yes, I can re relate to them socially. And uh, women who are in other industries can motivate me in leadership positions. Because obviously, in the rank of a major, you're a senior officer, so you're seen as a leader. Um, so I can uh, lend to that. But sometimes I really just miss being able to speak technical talk with other females, you know, and being able to make that little bit of banter, oh, and then when I was in the ILS, this happened, and then she'll talk about whatever, you know. <laughs> I mean, you can still do it with guys, but, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to just have that intellectual talk with another female person. So that, that part I really do miss. How many people told you you were not going to make it? How do you silence that negative voice, not only outside, but inside your own head? How do you silence that? If I concentrate on all the stumbling blocks, I wouldn't have gotten to where I am. That anger can sometimes uh, misdirect you. It can distract you. Yes, there have been people who have said that I can't do this, or there are people who have suggested that I try something else. And um, for a long time, I held on to that, and it actually impeded my progress. When I started learning the, the exercises and reaching certain milestones, then it got reinforced, that confidence to say, hey, it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what your virtues are or, or your makeup is. If you have the aptitude and 
the right mindset and you employ that with discipline, you can really succeed. So how do I silence the voices? I think I just look to the ones that are encouraging me. Chihomu hopes that in the next couple of years, Mfeka's achievement won't be such an anomaly. Um, that would be very good for the Air Force. It will also be very good for the country to have uh, developed more women into um, the role which was perceived um, to be more male dominant. And I think that would be very good. Um, we need to push for that so that we advance the empowerment of women. It's June the 16th. It's such a significant day in South African history. What is your message to young boys, young girls, young South Africans on a day like today? We as the youth in 2019 can do our best to just live up to all those sacrifices, you know, give our best, no matter what industry you are, just, just honor those people who fell so that those doors could be open and realize that you have, you can conquer anything if you just put your mind and heart into it. It's been a hard fought climb to the top for the 29 year old from KwaZulu Natal. She's been in the Air Force since 2008 and has flown countless hours. But the animated Mfeka simply can't contain her continued excitement for her profession. The clouds are just uh, nestling just below the flight level that we were at coming back. And then the engine felt like it was purring. And I was sitting there like, oh, this, <laughs> this, this sounds so cool. <laughs> this feels so good, you know. So it can be something as, as, you know, as routine as that, but just that feeling. And then the some parts is obviously when we get to fly in formation with Gruppen. And then you look at Gruppen looking so majestic with, you know, everything. And then I'm just like, my mother shows. <laughs> There's simply no limit to her ambition and hopefully within the next year and a half she'll make the jump from the Hawk to the Gripen. Just another milestone for the magnificent Major Mandisa Mfeka. Michael Apple, Air Force Base Mikado in Limpopo.